Hey everyone, my name is Jeff. Welcome back to Jones Works. This week we've got a little bit of a different project. A friend of mine asked me to replace the top on his reloading workbench. So I'm going to go ahead and replace the top, add some storage, and a few other things. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Now let's get to the project. workbench everything else is from scraps here in the shop let me take you in for a closer look the legs and stretchers are a couple of plain down and jointed two by sixes that I laminated together and the shelf down below is actually the old workbench top this thing's a three inch slab butcher block made out of the old workbench trimmed up with two by sixes this thing's tough and durable and I know it'll last forever he has three presses that he's going to use on this thing so I made these plates that it'll mount the presses to with holes in the same spots. And the table has bolts mounted to the underside that come up and retract. That way, 
we can minimize the amount of holes in the top and you can mount the plates in the same spot every time. I mounted a light above with the switch on the side, easily accessible. Uh, I had plans of putting a pegboard in, but he's going to be setting this thing in front of a window and he didn't want to block that up. But you could put any number of storage solutions up here if you were to build this yourself. The last thing I added, of course, was a bottle opener. No good workbench is complete without it. This thing was a lot of fun to make and I really like how it turned out. It's super beefy and heavy, which I really like in a work table. It also has a lot of character because of all the screw holes and things like that from the old workbench. If you guys like the video, please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.